Well, I made another ISIS target and uh, brought it back up here and thought I'd show you that. And so, anyhow, I got myself another little uh, line drawn here up at uh, Finley Butte. That there is uh, 50 feet again, 50, 51. Anyway, it's the way I paced it off. But I wanted to do a little experimentation today because. Um, Right here, you can see what I've been shooting. This is nine millimeter, but it's got that round bullet. It's just round on the end. So I'm gonna shoot some of those. And then here is a hollow point. But what I'm curious about, I mean, it is a hollow point, and I've sometimes wondered if that hollow nose on there, if that, you know, affects, you know, trajectory and everything. And then this one is, uh, it's a hollow point, but right there on the tip of it, it's got like a gelatin or a hard rubber uh, insert. And the edge of the projectile there, it's got, a, got these little separations on it. So the idea there is that, you know, when that hits soft tissue, you know, and that rubber projectile gets pushed back in, and those uh, serrated areas on the on the round, why, you know, they're going to separate, and that's going to cause great damage to my ISIS buddy down there. So, anyways, I'm going to shoot some of these off and uh, see if I can, uh, you know, detect any significant uh, difference. Catch you later.